Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can solve this error, which is an error occurs when unpacking an ars.dll return an error code minus one and error is achieve data corrupted. Okay. So this error occurs when you install your device or PC, any big file of software or any big file of game. Okay. So don't worry about it because in this video we are going to solve this. So before I start this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for never miss any update. So let's start it. So first of all, you need to go to your this PC and right click on it and choose here properties. And once you click on it, it will show you the about section where you can see your device specification. And from here, you need to go to the advanced system settings. And after that, it will open the system properties. From the system properties, you need to go to the advanced. And here you need to go to the performance and click here settings. And once you click on it, it will open the performance option. From here, you need to also go to the advanced. And as you can see here, you find two options. First one is processor scheduling and second one is virtual memory. So we need to go for the virtual memory and at the virtual memory, as you can see, the by default memory size is given here 6287 MB. And from here, you need to click on the chains. And as you can see, it's open the virtual memory. From here, you need to uncheck mark this option which is automatically manage the padding file size for all drives. Okay. And as you can see, now you can choose here any of drive. You need to choose here this drive, which drive you want to be installed, the big file of software or big file of game. Okay. So if you want to install the big file of game or software in your D drive, so you choose here D drive. Okay. But I want to install the big file of game or software in my C drive. So I choose here C drive. Then you need to choose here the custom size. So this is the most important part of this video. Why do you need to give here your initial and maximum size of virtual memory? Okay. So initial size you can set here less than 400 megabyte and maximum size you set here up to the how many spaces available in your selected drive okay so i set here initial size is 100 mb and maximum size i give here 35000 mb but after that if you face this error again then what you need to do you need to come back here again and increase the maximum size of virtual memory because day by day every software and game size is increasing for that reason for install them they needs a lot of virtual memory so that's why if you face this error again you just come here again and increase the maximum size and go to install again and i hopefully that you can solve your problem so after set the initial size and maximum size of the virtual memory now you just click on the set and click on yes and then you need to click on the ok and again ok and also again ok and again ok so our virtual memory is set here so after click on OK, it will show you this message where it say 
to complete the change you need to restart your computer okay just click on the restart now then it will automatically restart your pc so once our restart is complete now you can again go to install your big file of software or your big file of game hopefully this time you cannot see this error okay and you can smoothly install your game or software and as you can see my game is also be installed without this error so hopefully guys you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and share and i will see you guys in this next video inshallah thank you so much